In this video, I'll show you how you can easily set up Node.js project on web host most platform. To begin with, you need a hosting plan. And with web host most, you can use 125 megs free plan. Since I already have a plan, I'll show you how I'm going to set it up using my service plan, which is a pro plan. But you can easily get started with 125 megs. The process is going to be exactly the same. You will just have a little bit less space. So let's get started. Now, from my client area, we need to access our service plan that we have purchased, basically. In my case, I already have a pro plan, and now I need to access web control panel. So navigate to web control panel, and from here, find website management tab, Node.js app. First, we need to create a Node.js app. Click this blue button, create application, and you will see a few options here. So the first one is Node.js version. On the drop-down menu, you'll see all the available versions for Node.js. For instance, I will use version 20.16, which is recommended. Then we need to select our application mode. There are two options, development and production. You can leave development since, you know, this project is still in development. And then application route. Application route is the path to your specific project of your specific domain name. And let me show you real quick. I have here a domain name that is assigned to my service plan which is node-test-project.freewebcosmos.com. This is the only domain name that I have here so far. And the doc root for this website is going to be public HTML. Now, application URL, you can just leave it by default. And application startup file, this is an important thing. Most of the project, they have app.js. And you have to look inside of your project to understand which application startup file you have. But again, most of them use app.js. In my specific case, I have index.js. So I need to type index.js and I will show you later when we'll be setting up the entire project of which specific application startup file we need to use basically. So again, in my project, I will use index.js because this is the startup file that I already have for my project that I will show you in a few seconds. Before clicking create, let me show you real quick what we have inside of our file manager. Go to files management and find file manager tab. Here, I'll just want to show you real quick that inside of my project folder, I have only few files and folders. And then after we create this Node.js application, I'll show you what actually changed. So right now I have just CGI, bin, and TMP. Now let's go back to our Node.js app and click create. Wait a few seconds. All right, we get the success screen saying that Node.js application created successfully. Now let's navigate back to our file manager and reload files. And you'll see that a few more files have just popped up. And one of them is index.js. This is our startup file that we have specified. But again, in my test project, index.js is that exact file that I would need to use. So I kind of already predefined it. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to upload our project into this root folder. So for that, let's stop our application for a second and navigate back to file manager. So from here, let's upload the file. Wait a few seconds until it uploads. And then we can extract this file right inside of our public HTML folder. Click extract, wait a few seconds, and then we'll see this specific folder that has been just extracted. Navigate inside of that folder. And as you can see, I have index.js. As I said, this is part of my project. And again, this is just a test project. So index.js is already predefined in my Node.js application. And I already have it in my public HTML folder, but that's fine because we can rewrite the file. So let's navigate inside of this folder that we have just unarchived and move it to our public HTML folder. So just change the path. We have this toggle here, overwrite. Let's just overwrite it and click move. Wait a few seconds. We moved everything to our public HTML. As you can see here, I have all the files for my project here. Now, just a quick tip. If you wish to delete one of the files that you already have, let's say readme. I don't need this file. I can delete it. You can just remove the file and you have this toggle to trash. If you leave this toggle enabled, it will move this file to the trash bin. So let me show you. Let's go to my files and we'll see the trash bin just appeared here. Th that means that file actually got removed, but it still takes up some space inside of our system. So to remove it completely so it won't take up space, we need to either clear the trash bin or just turn that toggle off to delete it completely and bypass this trash bin. So let me restore it real quick. 
I'll show you once again. Let's navigate here, public HTML, and let's delete it once again, remove. And trash bin is empty because it bypassed the trash bin, as I said. Since we already have all the files for my project located inside of my project folder, we can navigate back to our application. And from here, we need to refresh the page first because we didn't finish installation. We need to run npm install. It's grayed out right now because during the installation, I didn't have configuration file. So we need just to refresh the page. And after that, it's supposed to show that we have our package file. Have a look, package.json is already there and that is why now I can click this run npm install. So there are two ways to install this project. You can install it using the graphical interface by clicking this button or we can install it manually using terminal. But here is the trick. You won't be able to install it using terminal without getting into the virtual environment. And here this system is giving us this link that will navigate us basically directly into our virtual environment. So just click this link, it will automatically copy to the clipboard. And if you want to access terminal, we need to go to development tools, terminal, and we need to paste this link here and click enter. Now we are inside of our virtual environment to manage our Node.js project. As you can see from here, we can actually run this command and do whatever things that are related to Node.js project. Now, if I would exit this path and connect once again and try to run npm command without being inside a virtual environment, you will see that npm command not found. But again, getting access to the virtual environment and typing npm will actually allow you to do things. I still want to install this application using graphical interface. So let's go back to our Node.js app and final step is we need to run the script that will install our application. Scroll down, run npm, wait a few seconds and wait for the success screen. All right, it says that npm install complete successfully. And now we can just start the app. And let's navigate to a new tab where we'll see what type of project we have. Voila, the project is up and running, ready to go. One quick attention that I want to point here is that it's running on the default port 80 because on web host most, Node.js applications are handled by the server and it does port forwarding for you because the default port for Node.js is actually port 3000. But here you don't need to play with any redirections because again, everything is done automatically for you. So you can easier get access to your application and start working on it. So that was it. This is how I installed and managed the entire process in just a few minutes on web host most. Thank you so much for watching. To see more useful videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos. By the way, we have got a new channel, web host most live, linked down in the description below, where I do reviews and reactions to other web hosting providers. So go check it out. See you in the next one. Bye.